In this video, I will show you how to add social medias to the header and footer. First of all, go to Appearance, then click on Customize. Go to Header. From the left hand side under Elements tab, look out for Socials element. Drag it and drop it. You can either place it on the top, main or the bottom row. Let's place it on the top row. As soon as you do that, you will see all of the social medias appearing here on the top row. Now all you have to do is configure it. To configure the social media elements, you can click on the pencil icon here. You can directly click on the social elements from within the builder or you can click on the elements. I'm going to click on the pencil icon. You will find general and design tabs under socials. Here under the general tab, you can add various social medias to the already added social medias on your top row. So the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn has already been added. If you want to let's say add in YouTube, select YouTube and click on add. Then YouTube will appear here. Similarly, if you want to add in any other social media like, let's say you want to add in TikTok, select TikTok, click on add and TikTok will be added right away. You will also see there's little eye icons on the left hand side. This is to make any social media icons temporarily disappear. So let's say you don't want Instagram to appear here. You can click on the eye icon and make the Instagram icon invisible. If you want to delete it altogether, you can click on the cross icon and that will delete Instagram icon as well. Now, if you want to add links to your social media icons, all you have to do is click on the link here. Then you can add links to your respective social media pages or accounts here. So for example, if I want to add in my Facebook page, then I will have to copy the link to my Facebook page and paste the link in here. And this particular link will be linked to the icon here. You have to follow the same process to add the links to the rest of the social media accounts. After you are done adding all of the links, you have to click on Publish. Let's go to the header once again and we will click on the social elements. You can also increase or decrease the icon size. If you want to reset the size, you can click on the reset icon. You can also change the icon spacing. You can also select the icon's color. You can either customize it or you can go for the official color. I will come back to the customization of the color later. Apart from the custom, if you want to select the official color, you will see that all of the social media icons are now displaying the official colors. If you select custom, you will have the option to customize your icon's color as per your site's requirements and needs. Next is the icon shape type. You can go for none, you can go for rounded, or you can go for square as it is displaying right now. Now you can also select the shape fill type from solid to outline. You can also select the label visibility. So let's say that you have selected the label visibility for the desktop device, which means the labels will be shown for each of the social media icons. You can also select or unselect the options for the tablet and mobile views. And once you switch back to the mobile header for the mobile view, you will see that they don't have the labels on them. But if you do select the label visibility for the mobile devices, then you will see that the labels are now showing for all of the social media icons. I'm going to unselect mobile visibility and I'm also going to switch back to the desktop header. Let's go to the top 
Then under design, you can select the icons color. You can select the initial color of various icons. Now you have to keep in mind that you can only select the colors from under the design tab if you have not selected official color from under the general tab. Because if you select the official colors, then the official colors will be applied to the social media icons. And from under design, the color options will not be visible anymore. I'm going to select the color as custom and icon shape as rounded. Let's go back to the top and back to design. You can select icons color from here. You can easily go for the color of your choice. You can also select the hover color following the same process. You can go for a lighter color or a darker one. You can also select the background color. You can go for a lighter color or you can go for a darker one. But because this particular color overshadows our icons, we'll switch it back. Then you can also add in margin. You can also select the icons color for the tablet and mobile devices. If you switch to the tablet view, you will be able to select a different color. You can select the color as per your like. For mobile, let's go for blue color. In this way, you can easily switch across different devices. You can select black for tablet, blue for desktop, and for mobile, you can select light blue. You can do the same for the icon's background color. Let's switch back to the desktop. This was for adding social media icons to your desktop header. Let's see how we can do the same for the mobile header. First of all, I will publish all of the changes. Then we will go back to the elements tab and we will switch to mobile header. What you have to do is, if this social element was not already added, let's remove it for a while. All you have to do is, like you did with your desktop header, you have to drag and drop the socials element into the off canvas menu. And once you have done that, simply click on the element. Then you can easily configure all of the elements like you did with the desktop header. So once you have added the socials, you can click on publish. Now what you can do is to check it on your desktop, go to your site and we will give it a refresh first. And we will change our site to mobile view. So this is the mobile view and you will see that the social media icons are now added to our mobile device. And this is what it looks like. Let's go back. Now to add the social media on your footer, let's go back to footer. Just drag all the way down to the footer area here, like earlier. You have to look out for the socials element. You have to drag it and place it either on the top, main or the bottom row. Here, your social media will be added. Now the process of configuring the social media element is the same. You can click on the element from the main display, from the builder interface, or you can click on it from the elements tab. Let's click on the pencil icon. Then the process of adding, removing the social media icons, setting the size, spacing, colors, shape type, shape fill, visibility are all same. In addition to that, you also get horizontal alignment and vertical alignment across the desktop, tablet and mobile devices. You can also select the element visibility across desktop, tablet and mobile devices.
From under design, you can select the icons color from the range of different colors. You can also select the icons border color to change the look and feel of your socials icon. And after you are done, you have to click on publish. If there are any questions, please reach out to our support team with the help of the link I have added in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in our next video.